Hello and welcome to episode 59 of my Salem tutorial series. This episode is going to be on all things walls. Now I want to say a huge thank you to Mario for leaving a comment and explaining to me that um, the way people uh, steal your money out of your purse and your purse of course and your backpack and your face mask and anything else they desire is not hacking apparently it's uh, when you're offline they have a way <coughs> excuse me of accessing your inventory now I presume that the way they access your inventory is because you sleep in a bed so if you the which begs a question if you don't sleep in a bed can people still steal off of you because how do they act know where you exist or know you're the so if for example I logged out right here would someone be able to still steal from me even though there is no bed or nothing to denote that I've ever been in this spot can they still steal from me I don't know we'll see as we go along anyway I'm drifting this is about walls now I am to the east of my settlement and there are a few reasons now now thanks to Mario though I appreciate that you have to have walls I know people have left comments since the beginning of this series saying get walls up now build walls build walls but I didn't appreciate why to build walls yes I know people could steal from my claim but I didn't realize that they could steal from my inventory and not until Mario pointed that out so now I recommend to everyone building walls they're very simple and there's many different walls that you can eventually build so I'm going to start with the very first uh, fence and wall which is the makeshift fence now I'm building one to the east of my settlement the reason I'm building one to the east of my settlement is because you should do the same around your main base in each cardinal direction of north east south and west say a little distance away well quite a good distance away build one of these makeshift um, fences the reason is if there is a snake chasing you or um, some other wild creature then you'll be safe because you can duck and into your area of course if it's another player they can just come in after you but even then you might buy yourself some time I don't know so let's build ourselves a makeshift fence now we're gonna need to do this abandoned cobwebs or you can use yellow stained cotton or you can use wemp fiber much easier just to use cobwebs because a new player that's what you're going to have access to in logs is lots of them you're going to use lots of branches in building the makeshift fence when you come across these broken burrs study them hmm. don't waste them okay I'm just gonna keep going till this turns red then I will start building this makeshift fence now the building of walls and fences is exactly the same for whatever type you build whether it's the stone hedge the brick uh, wall the uh, spike rail fence or this makeshift fence the building of them is exactly the same the only difference between all of them is the materials used now what you should always do when building your walls is start by using the grid tool the landscaping tool so I'm going to zoom out a bit and I'm going to select the size of this uh, enclosure and that's good enough I don't want it too big uh, to the south or somewhere around here I think there, yeah there there's a um, a lean to although there's no claim not notice on it so actually that's empty anyway I don't want to make it too big so I don't want to be building this for three hours when I've only got a 30 minute episode 
to make it in. So anyway, that's the layout. Now I can build along the perimeter of that. Okay, I'm gonna have two gates, one this side and one this side. Entry and exit. Well, entry that side, exit this side, because again, this is going east. If I'm being chased, I can run in here, shut the gate behind me, and if I want, I can either wait in here and log off, or I can go a head start back to my settlement. Hopefully, the creature won't aggro me from that side, or it will at least buy me enough time to get back. Anyway, so let's build it. Now when building a fence you have to have two tiles um, in between each post, starting post. For the building of the posts it's the same either side. So you go into your build and buildings and structures, claims and defences and we're going to do the makeshift fence. So when you click on that it will start with this starting corner uh, post. Now what the first thing you have to do is I like to line it up with the tile. See how it's going at an angle. So press the left shift, scroll the mouse wheel and that straightens it up to the tile. And so I want the fence, I want the gate, sorry, here. So I'm going to put the first one there. Okay, let's add some branches and add to cobwebs and build. Okay, now I could carry on going around with the rest of the fence, but what I like to do is get my posts put in for the gates. So for this, otherwise you'll forget and you'll run a fence along here and you won't be able to then do the gate. So this side, remember, you must have two tiles empty and this side I'm going to put another one of the um, fences, start posts. So that doesn't look like it's lined up but it is. So there we go, two tiles. So on the third tile away from the first post I'm going to build the second side. So you cobwebs and build. Okay, now to build the fence, well we can either at this point now right click this post and extend south, let's do one, and he takes one branch now, there you go, there's the first bit done. Uh, now if I wanted to do the fence, I could have done the, fen the gate straight away, but just to show I've done that fence off of this post, now I can choose, now depending on which one of these posts you click on, you see this one will extend gate to the north, this one extends the gate to the south. It depends on what way you want the gate to, to face, to swing open. Do you want it to swing inwards or outwards? So if I build the gate to the south, 10 branches, there we go, let's build. Okay, now if I right click on the gate, you see that it opens inwards. So what I'm going to do is the next gate I will extend to the north, so you can see the difference. Okay, let's carry on with this fence, so extend south. I'm going to need to pick some more branches. It was no coincidence that there was a tree nearby. So let's pick a load more branches. Yeah, sure, you'll go through a lot of branches and cobwebs, but remember these are starting materials. Well, branches are endless off of a tree. You only need a tree. Uh, the cobwebs, again, are pretty easy to find. This really is a fantastic uh, starting wall because it, you know, it will protect you from creatures, snakes in particular. They're the biggest ones that knock me out. Let's study that. Mm. OK, 
Okay, I'll keep going till it turns red. There you go. Right now, so this is going to be a, a corner. So here, I'm going to make a corner post. Notice it uses one cobweb. Okay, now I'm going to extend west. So right click on the corner post and extend west. Because this is the direction I need to go. You see that the fence, the parts of the fence are so easy to make, just one branch. And yet yeah, they can save your life. Yeah, it takes a little time to build an enclosure, but it's well worth it. I mean, I would have built one much sooner had I have realized um, the fact that they're necessary. The only reason I didn't cover them is because I presumed it's like some games where it gives you fences and everything, but if you have a claim, there's, there's just no point. But in this game, there is a huge point to having fences, so I shall now never be without them. Okay, now another corner post. Now we're going to extend north. And this enclosure, of course, can be used for any other players passing by. If they're getting chased by any critters, uh, then they can just come in here. It's not on a claim, so they will be able to open the gates. Oh, you know what I've done? I forgot that I wanted a gate. Well, how about actually I place my gate here? Yeah, it's. I'd love, love to have had it going straight through. But of course, I got carried away, as I always do when building things like this. Anyway, better late than never. That's what they say, I believe. So let's put my other gate this side. It's better actually for if, if a creature's chasing me, then that's further distance away from it coming in the other gate. So I suppose it's good in a way. They soon add up all these hmm. uh, branches. Right, I think that should be enough, surely. Okay, remember the two tile gap. And we'll place the other corner post here. When doing gates, of course, you have to have one of these makeshift fence, this starting post either side. You can't have a corner post, you won't be able to have a gate. 
you have to do it this way go in through the build menus and do the first starting post that you see there okay now this one I'm going to like I said extend north Build, oh no, not that one, this one. Build gate to north. Have a look, now all my branches are nearly used up again, never mind. Okay, let's now open the gate. And you see the gates swing outwards. So, dependent on which, if you want your gates to swing outwards, build gate to the north. If you want your gates to swing inwards, Build gate to the south. I believe my point has been made, so let's continue on. And another corner post. Okay, I'm going to need some more branches hmm Right, let's see if that is enough. Hmm. Okay, so now I need to extend east. Now for all your alts that you create to farm with, this is something that you should definitely get them to do. They'll all have access to the makeshift fence, but it's so worth it. I mean, one of my alts that I use to um, farm, whilst he was building his fence all the way around, he got bit by a snake. So yeah, he got knocked out, Never mind. He'll have his fence done eventually. Yeah, I think the, the snake just spawned in right on top of me while I was building. Either that or it was just sleeping for a long time and I didn't see it as I was coming round with my fence. And the next thing I know, I'm lying flat on my back with stars rotating above my head. And of course it weren't good because I'd spent all the time gathering up all the materials to make the fence plus... I had all my food, I had everything, and I lost half of it, as you do. Okay, so, oh no, one more, and then my corner post. You can see that's the main reason for doing an outline with the landscape tool. Make sure you don't go wrong. Okay, so now another corner post. And now we extend south. Okay, there we are. That is an enclosure, which will save your new life when you uh, get your new character or your alts at a low level. That is a very, very handy structure. Right, okay, well that's all well and good for new players. But for my claim, which is getting big and getting lots of items on it, a makeshift fence is just not gonna cut it. 
it's not going to stop people robbing me, killing me and looting me. So one has to take more extreme measures. Now at the moment I only have one perimeter fence going around. It's the stone hedge. But trust me when I tell you that that will simply not be enough to stop thieves. Yes, it will delay them, but they'll bust through it eventually. So I'm going to build three stone hedges and I'm going to put a plank fence and then a brick fence. And then if anyone breaks through all three stone hedges, the plank fence and the brick fence, they're, they're, I think I believe they'd be entitled to whatever they get access to of my goods because it's going to have taken them I don't know how long to do that anyway so let's take you a tour of my stone hedge because the time has not gone so we have time which is good okay this took me a fair while to build with this stone hedge it's like building the makeshift fence you put the corner posts when you want a gate you have to put two of the starter posts either side you must have two tiles in between and then you can build a gate if you have two uh, corner posts starting posts the wall you just do exactly the same as the makeshift and you run it all the way around your claim of course if it's not on your claim then not only will the wall rot, but people can destroy it easier and quicker. Whereas if it's on your claim, then they're going to have to go into criminal mode and get a, a well, they'll get a wanted, uh, they'll drop a scent. Oh, getting stuck in the wall now. Okay, so as you can see, I've run mine all the way around the edge. I intend to have multiple rings of walls around. And I'm gonna put a massive forest all the way around as well. Here's a good demonstration of how you can go in doing angles. Now with uh, the fences, they will build on slopes, but not extreme slopes. So in this, on this corner, I'm gonna have to do all my walls on the in, inner side. I can't go out anymore. So I'm gonna have to do the other layers in here. So. I'm either going to have to empty out all of the food or just simply destroy them. These turkey coops are easy to make, so I'll just make some more. So you can see my wall now runs all the way around my claim. And what I intend to do is another episode on the, the other types of defences that you can put in place. To build the stone hedge, you need granite, limestone, and stone. Uh, the normal parts of the fence use stone. Let's just check before I say. So the stone hedge. For the starting um, posts, you need to use 10 lime, 10 granite, and 20 stone. It takes a lot of endurance to make this wall, especially when you're doing a big, big, big wall. Uh, I can't tell you how many materials I went through, but I'll tell you something, it took me a few days to build it. And it's gonna take me many more days to build all the rest of the walls I wanna build. So, but that's for your main starting post. That uses the most resources they do. So either side of your gates, you'll need one of these. So it's gonna take 20 lime, 20 granite, 40 stone if you want to make a fence then for building the fence itself you're going to need think it's five lime five granite and ten stone but the good news is for building just each section of the wall it uses um, five stone and one granite you're going to go through a ton of granite um, building these walls but this seems to be the wall of choice for most players. When you go to claims, dependent on their sizes, the majority have the stone hedge. The more elaborate claims 
you will see that they build as well as a stone hedge a plank fence now the plank fence is expensive it uses oil boards and uh, dry boards and oil boards and plain boards let's find the plank fence so the starting looks nice though uh, which is why I'm gonna have one of these but check out the materials you even you need to use nails so five nails 15 dry boards 10 plain boards and four oil boards that's just either side of your gate and obviously for doing the wall part of it it's going to use less of the materials but um, this in the wiki the Salem wiki is one of the strongest walls although I'm not sure where the brick one ranks whether the brick is stronger than this but I intend to make one um, and I'll do some demonstrations but I don't intend to see how long it takes to break one uh, not until I get a lot more higher in my humours but there anyway so there we go that's the different types let's have a look I haven't showed you the other one which is the um, split rail fence so I've shown you the makeshift I've shown you the stone hedge shown just had a look at the plank fence uh, the brick one I've not got yet because I need to learn cementation um, but the spit rail fence if I show you the starting post for that it uses fresh boards and bl wooden blocks so this one is a is the wall before the stone hedge so it's going to be a good defense don't get me wrong but if you're thinking of sticking it out in your claim staying in that area you should be building a stone hedge perhaps build a um, split rail fence until you have the resources to build the uh, stone hedge I'm going to build one of these as an outer wall so I'll have a couple more stone hedges then I'll have a split rail fence then a makeshift fence just for the fun of it just to show what a psychopath I am and don't forget I'll have my plank rail fence and my brick fence it'll be a load of fences what can I say there we go though I hope you've enjoyed this episode on building walls I know it's long overdue um, but I, the gamester had to learn the hard way he had to get murdered he had to get robbed and he had to have some cretin come and smash all his stuff up before he the penny dropped now though he has his walls let's see if i still get robbed or any of the above that i just mentioned wherever you are in the world god bless you and keep every last one of you safe even the person who murdered me thank you for watching and have a fantastic day i hope you enjoyed this episode goodbye